Types of painting mediums. There are several types of painting mediums, each with its own unique characteristics and uses. Here are some of the most common ones. Number one, oil painting. Oil painting is a technique that involves painting with pigments mixed with a drying oil medium, typically linseed oil. It has been the most common technique for artistic painting on canvas, wood panel, or copper for several centuries, spreading from Europe to denser color, the use of layers, and a wider range from light to dark. Oil paint allows for the achievement of satisfactory linear treatment, crisp effects, and a wide range of opacity, transparency, and translucency. The origins of oil painting can be traced back to at least the 7th century ad, where Buddhist artists in Afghanistan used oil to decorate ancient cave complexes. In Europe, the use of oil as a painting medium is recorded as early as the 11th century, but it became more prevalent during the early Netherlandish painting in Northern Europe and reached its height during the Renaissance. Dutch painters such as Jan van Eyck and Venetian school painters like Titian and Tintoretto played significant roles in the mastery and development of oil painting techniques. Number two, acrylic paint. Acrylic paint is a fast drying paint made of pigments suspended in an acrylic polymer emulsion. It is a versatile and popular medium used by artists of all skill levels. Acrylic paints are water-based but become water-resistant when dry. They can be diluted, water or modified with acrylic gels, mediums or pasties to achieve different effects and textures. One of the advantages of acrylic paint is its ability to resemble other painting mediums such as watercolor, gouache or oil paint depending on the dilution and application technique. Acrylic paints are known for their vibrant colors, excellent coverage, and quick drying time, which allows for layering and building up textures. Number three, watercolor is a painting medium that is prized for the luminosity of its transparent colors. It is a water-based medium that is typically applied by brush to white paper. Watercolor paints come in cakes of color known as pans or in tubes of thickened paint. The paint is composed of finely ground pigment combined with water and gum arabic, which acts as a binder to disperse the pigment particles and adhere them to the support. Modern watercolors can form washes with only a touch of water, allowing for greater ease of use. Watercolor painting offers a wide range of effects and techniques. It can be applied to dampened paper or over a wet wash to produce flowing passages of color with diffuse edges. Applying watercolor to a dry sheet or on top of dried color will produce more well-defined effects seba. Number four, Gret Gouache painting is a technique that uses opaque watercolor paint. It is similar to traditional watercolor, but with a higher pigment concentration resulting in a more opaque and matte finish. Gouache paint is often used for illustrations, design work, and fine art. When painting with guaxi, it is common to start with a base layer of color, known as staining. This involves covering the surface with a thin watercolor-like wash of guache to establish the foundation. This technique is useful for creating large areas of color, such as skis or landscapes. Guache can be layered on top of the base layer to add more depth and detail to the painting. Unlike traditional watercolor, guache can be painted light over dark and dark over light, allowing for more flexibility in creating highlights and shadows. Number five, pastel painting. Pastel painting is a technique that involves using sticks of pigment mixed with chalk or clay combined with gum to create a paste. The paste is then hardened and made available as soft or hard pastels, pastel pencils, or oil pastels. Pastel paintings can have an intensely luminous color and a rich, velvety texture due to the high pigment concentration in pastel powder. The process of creating a pastel painting is similar to drawing. The pastel stick is dragged across a rough or toothy surface, which provides some degree of abrasion for the pastel particles to adhere to. The surface can be laid paper abrasive supports with finely ground pumice or marble dust, or velour paper. Pastel paintings can achieve a wide range of effects, from broad strokes that resemble oil paints to precise lines and marks. The medium offers a wide range of colors and blending abilities, allowing artists to create various textures and effects. Number six, encaustic painting. Encaustic painting is a technique that involves using hot liquid wax mixed with pigments as a painting medium. The wax can be modified by adding resin or oil to change its consistency. 
The paint is applied to a support such as wood, plaster or canvas and then heated to fuse the brush or spatula marks into a uniform film. This process of heating and fusing the colors is an essential element of the encaustic technique. Encaustic wax shares some properties with oil paint, such as the ability to create brilliant and expressive brushwork. However, working with encaustic presents practical challenges due to the need to keep the wax warm. Modern methods of heating have made the process more accessible. Encaustic paintings can have a unique texture and luminosity due to the layering and fusing of the wax. Artists can create various effects by scraping, carving, or building up layers of wax. The versatility of encaustic allows for experimentation and exploration of different techniques. Number seven, tempera painting. Tempera painting, also known as egg tempera, is a painting technique that uses pigments mixed with a water-soluble binder medium, typically egg yolk. The term tempera comes from the Latin word tempere, meaning to mix or blend thoroughly. In tempera painting, dry pigments are mixed with the binder to create a paint that can be applied to a variety of surfaces, such as wood, canvas, or paper. The paint dries quickly and forms a hard film. Tempera paintings are known for their vibrant colors and long-lasting qualities. Examples of tempera paintings from as early as the first century, it still exists today. The process of creating a tempera painting involves preparing the surface with layers of gesso, a plaster or chalk and glue mixture, to provide a smooth and absorbent base for the paint. The pigments are then mixed with the binder, usually egg yolk, and diluted with water as needed. The paint is applied in thin, transparent layers, allowing for precise details and intricate brushwork. Number eight, ink painting. Ink painting is a versatile and expressive art form that utilizes ink as the primary medium for creating artwork. It has a rich history and is practiced in various cultures, particularly in East Asia. Ink painting can refer to different techniques and styles, but it often involves using brushes and ink to create lines, shapes, and textures on a surface, such as paper or silk. The ink used in this form of painting can be made from various sources, including plant-based or mineral-based pigments. One of the most well-known forms of ink painting is Chinese ink painting, which has a long tradition dating back to ancient times. Chinese ink painting often emphasizes the use of brushwork and the expressive qualities of ink. It can depict a wide range of subjects, including landscapes, flowers, birds, and calligraphy. Number nine, digital painting. Digital painting is the process of creating artwork using digital tools such as a computer or tablet and specialized software. It allows artists to simulate traditional painting techniques and create a wide range of styles and effects. Digital painting offers several advantages over traditional painting. It provides a more cost-effective approach since there is no need to purchase physical art supplies like paint, brushes, or canvases. Additionally, digital painting allows for easy experimentation and the ability to undo or make changes without damaging the artwork. It also offers a wide range of tools, brushes, and effects that can enhance the creative process. Digital painting software, such as Adobe Photoshop, Corel Painter, or Procreate, provides a variety of features and tools specifically designed for digital artists. These programs offer a wide range of brushes, color palettes, layers, and blending modes that mimic traditional painting techniques. Artists can use a stylus or a digital pen to apply brushstrokes and create their artwork directly on a digital canvas. Thanks for watching.